guitar players. I'm Sam Lyons, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Best Beginner Guitar Lessons. I've been getting a lot of requests from those of you who are just starting out on the guitar, brand new to the guitar. Uh, totally frustrated trying to get started playing a few cards and putting the cards together to make them sound correctly. So today I thought I'm going to do a quick little lesson that's going to get you playing uh, blues guitar. Uh, Southern style. Uh, the, playing blues is something that's easy for beginners to start off with. I always recommend and teach uh, how to play the blues right in the beginning, uh, the, the first uh, group of lessons, because it's easy and it's fun. And you get, you get to uh, uh, realize, hey, I can play guitar. So today I'm going to show you how to play blues guitar Cajun style down here in Louisiana where I'm from. Uh, a lot of blues played, and I love playing the blues. So today we're going to have the two cards to start with. The E7, which is the first finger on the third string, first fret, okay? And the second finger on the fifth string, second fret. So third and fifth string, first and second fret. That's E7, okay? The second card is the A7. You'll have your first finger on the fourth string, second fret, and your second finger on the second string, second fret. That's A7, okay? So, E7, third string, first fret, fifth string, second fret. For E7, A7, first finger on the fourth string, second fret, second finger on the second string, second fret. That's A7. Now, if you don't know these chords, first, first, uh, thing to do is to learn and make them sound clear. Scrub down all six strings and then change charge to the A7. And go back back and forth, E7, A7. Till you get them to sound really clear. Okay? And then I suggest using downstrokes. Just downstrokes to start with. We'll start with E7 and just uh, follow along with me and listen to me and then you can strum it, jump in and str start strumming with me. So we'll start with E7. Go to A7. Back to E7. A7. Again. Back to E7. A7. Back to E7. So, when you sit down and practice, about 10 minutes a day, that's all you need to practice. Learn the cards, learn them where you're making them sound clear, and being able to change from one to the other. Just these two cards, that's all you need to focus on. Okay? Just these two cards. And I'm going to show you a bonus card uh, at the end of the video, end of this lesson. So E7, so now what you want to do is create a strum. Now strumming, think of strumming as timing. Not all this up, up, down, up, or down, down, up, down, up. That would get you totally confused. Think of strumming as timing, okay? Let your wrist relax, just create your strum. That's what's so good about the blues card. You can create a strum and it's gonna sound okay. So just create your strum and you'll get to where you're about to hear a song and be able to strum it without any problem. Uh, as time goes on, as you practice. So here we go with E7. Just strum. Strum along with me. Get your strum. It doesn't matter if you're not strumming exactly like me. Just create a strum. Let's go to A7. Now we've got to go on. Having some fun. E7. A7. fun playing the blues, okay? So E7, A7. Now I'm going to show you one little trick, one little addition. It's going to make it really be fun. Is we're gonna, if you play in the E7, take 
take your little finger just before you make the chord change and you put it put it down on the second string, third fret, the little finger. You hear it pick in, uh, jump in? Here it comes. There it is. You can hear it. Boom, 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 boom. And then go to A7. Back to E7. Put that little finger down, second string, third fret. A7, there we go. And E7. One more time. Little finger down. Here we go, A7. Having fun playing the blues. A7. I'm sorry, the A7 now. And back to the E7 one more time. Okay, so there it is, E7, A7. And by changing your strumming patterns up, you can make these two chords sound fantastic in us all kind of different ways. Okay, one other tip I'm going to give you when you play an A7, okay? You know how we add the little finger down, okay, to the second string, third fret? Well, when you're on A7, and you get ready to go back to E7, drop that little finger down on the first string, third fret. Here it come in. Bum, bum. So you got, you've got A7. Drop it down. E7, there you go. Now we got it sounding good. Come along. Drop the little finger down. Second string. Let's go to A7. Now we got it. Hold A7. Hold the A7. Little finger down. Here you drop it. A7. Little finger down. Second string. A7. Little finger down, first string, third fret. Here it is, A7. Little finger down, second string, third fret. all there is to it. Have a, just, just relax and have fun with this. This will kickstart your guitar playing, uh, your guitar learning journey. And uh, it, it's so much fun playing the blues. Now I'm going to give you an example uh, just how fun it is by changing your your uh, rhythm, I should say, rhythm, not the chord, but the rhythm, okay? Just listen just for a second. If you want, if you see what I'm doing out here, I'm lifting up and down, my, my fingers up and down, just slightly off, off the uh, fretboard, and this is what gives you that sound. You hear it? Up, down. So I'm just lifting, barely lifting up and put right back down. And what it does, it kind of cuts off the, the sound. Bump, 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 you know. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. Um, if you have, and, and leave your comments down below in the comment section below the video. Uh, also, be sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel. Uh, that way you'll be notified each and every time I put up a new guitar lesson. I try to put them up once a week, sometimes two, uh, twice a week. I put two of them up uh, per week sometimes. And my goal is to teach everyone who wants to learn how to play guitar, be able to play without having to learn hundreds and hundreds of songs, uh, strumming patterns, rhythm patterns, hundreds and hundreds of cards, bar cards, etc., uh, theory, mode, all that sort of thing. There's a place for that if you want to go there. Most people want to play guitar for the enjoyment, for the fun, to play for your family and friends, or with, with, uh, along with your family and friends, around the campfire, uh, with a church group, whatever it is you're wanting to do. Most people, that's what they want to do. Okay. They don't want to be a professional musician. So I try to take you 
as quickly and as uh, feasibly possible to get you playing guitar and having fun and seeing some wins, seeing some pluses, not get frustrated learning cards and cards and cards and uh, never being able to play anything that sounds like anything. With this, the blues, the Bayou Blues, we like to call it, you'll be able to do it and, and do it quick and get some enjoyment out. And I'm going to have a follow-up video of this, going to add on to this, get a, little, get a little bit more into it where you're going to really, really enjoy it. But again, E7, A7, A9, there you go. And then you, you can include the little figure on the second string, third fret for E7. And on the A7, you sit, include the little figure on the first string, third fret, just before you make the card change. And you're changing your card in between. Notice E7, uh, E7. okay, change. You see, and I'm changing, okay, and I'm making my card change in between my strum. Up, down, A7. Up. E7, down, E7. So you want to change in between your card strums. That way, uh, everything is smooth and coherent, okay? Uh, I've been teaching over 40 years. Taught thousands and thousands of students how to play guitar. And I, I'm enjoying it more today than ever before. Uh, uh, like I say, over 40 years of teaching is a long time. But I really enjoyed, I really enjoyed having the gift to be able to share and teach other people how to play successfully. Uh, there are a lot of great guitar players out there, and there are a lot of guitar teachers out there. But being able to convey what you know as a guitar player to someone else so that they can learn how to play, uh, those are few and far between, those kind of people. They're, like I say, a lot of great players, but they, don't, they can't relate what they're playing. They don't have the patience to relate. They don't have the know-how or, or the communication skills to relate. And I've been doing this 40 plus years. Again, leave your comments below. Uh, if you have any questions you want me to answer, leave those below. Maybe I'll make a video uh, in, in the coming uh, week or so and answer some of those questions. Just do a video answering your questions. So leave your questions, leave your comments. Be sure to subscribe, hit the red button, and then the little bell symbol. Hit it, and you'll be notified every time I make a new uh, video. And by all means, like and share. This helps uh, YouTube uh, send my video out, letting other people know uh, that it's here and uh, my channel's here. And I'll be glad to, like I say, answer any questions you have. I want to help you learn how to play the guitar. And together we can. So let's go learn how to play the guitar. Until next time, friends, be safe and have fun playing guitar.